Hi guys, I am Sanjay back with my tutorial on Spring MBC. So in my last tutorial we saw how to use controllers based on bean definitions. So today we will see how to use controllers on the basis of annotation based configurations. So in Spring 2.5 we have annotation based MBC controllers support. From there on we are using annotation based configurations. So, why we use annotation based controllers or why do we use annotation based configurations? Using annotation based controllers means that we do not need to extend any class or any other interface. In my previous example, you will see we have extended abstract controller, but it would have been better if we have not extended or implemented any interface. So, for those, for those problems, we have annotation based configurations so what we used to do is we used to declare a p in terms of spring countries that is in the my dispatcher sublet.xml now what is the latest way of doing this we are a bit modern so we'll use a modern way of using a controller so what we'll do is we will write add the rate controller in my controller class so we will remove these things and we'll add at the rate notation at the rate control so what it what we did is we have added at the rate controller annotation in my control so what we will do is we will go to my dispatcher sublet and we will tell my dispatcher sublet to scan the controllers we have I have done previously so I'm just copying it from here so what this piece of code means sorry what this piece of code means it's telling my front controller to go to this package and scan for the controllers that are responsible for handling the request So we'll write the base package name or start standard controller. Okay, cool. We'll remove all those bean definitions that we have given. So might have a question why you have removed the bean definition bean resolver. Now what the resolver will do is the dispatcher will start to scan from the base package that is all standard controllers it will look for this package and scan for the beans that are annotated with add the red controller annotation and with that it will also look for a request mapping annotation which tells the container that this uh, add, the, uh, add the red annotation controller uh, add the red controller annotation sorry the add red controller annotation tells the container that this bean is a designated controller class. Now what the request an mapping annotation does is it is used to map a particular HTTP request whether it may be a gate request or a port request, post request to a specific class or method in a controller. So we will write that method inside my controller class which will handle the respective request. Correct? Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll write in handler request handler public the return type will be model view. We'll write a hello method that will return model and view, and here we'll write an add request mapping. It will take is the URL and the method type. The method type will take it later. For now, we'll use the URL. What will return is it will return model and view. So the name of the view is index. We want to show the index page. The attribute is message. The attribute value is hi my annotated example. Save it. 
you go to my dispatcher servlet aux and controllers so will not remove the view resolver for now and one more information the request mapping annotation it can be used at both class and as well as with method level we can map the url of the request and in method we can map the url as well as http request methods the case and get and the post so one important point here is whenever the dispatcher servlet or the front controller request for any url it goes it first searches in the base package what is the base package org standard controllers and what it will do is it will load all the beans of the java files here the class files the corresponding class file of this java files these are loaded into the memory and then it searches for a request mapping with the url and the if, if you request for a url like this what you will see is it will look for this url pattern in the respective controller classes inside the request mapping here is the request mapping the request map mapping pattern and the url pattern that the user is requesting should be matched when it gets matched it goes inside this function and executes this it returns the index or the view name to the front controller and in turn the front controller request to the view resolver to resolve its view confusion so to resolve its view confusion it goes to view resolver and the view resolver will move it to the appropriate view and thus the front controller is able to execute so let's see how it runs yes see how it runs execute it yeah here we go so yeah here is my first counter exam thank you for watching my video thanks for liking it